When working on a WordPress website, it can be very beneficial if you know how to duplicate a page rather than copy it over manually. This is going to save you a ton of time and potentially a bunch of headaches. In this WordPress tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to install and activate probably one of my favorite plugins. And I say my favorite because I've probably installed it on just about every WordPress site I've ever created for many, many years now. So here we are on the Canva tutorials page over on the eStoreKings.com website. Let's say we were rolling out a bunch of new tutorials for a different tool and we wanted to copy over this page. Doing it piece by piece and doing it manually would be a bit of a headache. Plus, it'll be hard to make sure that everything lines up properly. If you copy over a page manually, it could be very difficult to make sure that all of the elements are the exact same. You can run into errors like throwing off the padding, having different font sizes, and much more. So duplicating the page is definitely a safer bet. Once you're in WordPress, you can head on over to Plugins, hover over top of it, and click on Add New Plugin. In the top right-hand search field, we can type in the word Duplicate. And while there are many to choose from, the one that I've been using for what feels like forever is the Duplicate Page plugin. As you can see, there are over 3 million active installations, so it is quite popular. We'll go ahead and hit Install Now. And then once it's done installing, you'll see the Activate button. Once you do, go ahead and click on it. The Duplicate Page plugin has been installed and activated, and now we're ready to use it. So now we can head on back to our pages. If we head on down just a touch, we can see the Canva page that we were looking at earlier. But this time, when you hover over the area, there is a Duplicate This link. If we duplicate this page, it will save it as a draft. It won't push it live right away or anything. So you will have time to edit it before you publish it. So let's hit Duplicate This. And now you can see that there is a new draft called Canva. And now if we click on the page to edit it, whether it be the page name or the edit link here, it'll take us to the same place. We have an exact copy of the original page that we can work off of. So let's say we wanted to build a WordPress tutorials page. We could do that very easily by swapping out the content, starting with the title of the page. So we'll simply replace the title here, as well as one of the headers within the page. We would of course then need to replace any of the text, images, and links within the page because it currently is talking about Canva and we want to switch it over to WordPress. I'll just make a few changes here. You obviously don't want to sit and watch me build the entire page. We can replace the images quite easily here by either uploading a new image or selecting from the media library. I already have this image uploaded, so I'll go ahead and click on it and then hit select. And then of course, replace the text here. I'll do a few more here just so that you get the idea. So I'll hit replace again, open media library. I'll click on the image that I want and then hit select again. And of course, replace the text. All right, so one last one here, we'll hit replace again, go and grab our image, hit select. And in this case, I'll just say tutorial coming soon. So now we can go and preview the page to see what it's looking like so far. So let's click on preview in new tab. And now we have a brand new WordPress tutorials page that is a complete carbon copy of the Canva tutorials page. Now, of course, we would have to go back to the WordPress admin and keep swapping out all of the content, but this gives you a pretty good idea. And the great thing is that it's not just for WordPress pages. You can do other items like posts as well. If we go to posts within our WordPress admin and then hover over an existing post, it will now have the same duplicate this link, just like the pages did. That's it for this WordPress tutorial. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, definitely give us a like and subscribe. And if you're looking for full written tutorials, head on over to eStoreKings.com for more.